Hey guys, it's Bub here, and in this video we're going to be taking a look at Windows Neptune build 5111. Now this build came out roughly around December of 1999, so I felt as December's coming up to an end, I figured it would be nice to take a look at this build that was meant to come after Windows 2000. So because this build was made in December, all we have to do is change the date in the BIOS to 1999 because this is simply a time bomb build like most Windows builds. We can go ahead and do that, and here we go. Now, Windows Neptune was designed to replace Windows 9X after Windows 2000, because as we know, Windows 2000 was built on NT, but it was meant for more professional enterprise use cases. This was meant to be the home version of that, and as we all know, Windows XP ended up being that. 9x replacement so you could call this like an early build of windows xp even though it certainly doesn't look like it in fact we can even see that the setup still identifies itself as windows 2000 professional so we're going to go ahead and move through the setup and obviously this non-formatted eula so we're going to press f8 unpartitioned space we're going to go with ntfs and here we go we are now formatting and getting ready for windows neptune i almost said 2000 there all right, and here is the Windows Neptune out-of-box experience, and we can see that this does not look like Windows XP at all. In fact, we have a window rather than, you know, the full-screen out-of-box experience. Um, again, this is something that I don't think we would have seen in Windows XP if this was especially meant to be a home edition. Neptune is based off of 2000, so we are going to see some of those professional enterprise things in here as this was obviously never released to the public and it was never really finished it more morphed into windows whistler i believe and then xp All right so this is just like your typical user setup asking you for the region and we can of course enter our name so we're going to be windows today and we belong to microsoft most generic name ever i know we're going to go ahead and name our computer so we're just going to name it game pc because it's already listed right there Again, this computer thinks it is December 26, 1999 because of the time bomb, and that is interesting. I like the weird circle thing, paperclip looking thing that they did. Like, I guess someone took a pen, made a really sloppy circle, and they put it in the operating system. So now Windows is installing networking components, which I'm sure no longer work in 2022. Or actually, yeah, this is 2022. I had to think when this video was being uploaded. And Windows Neptune setup has finished, so we're going to go ahead and click the finish button and probably scale up, not like that. So this is our first look at the startup screen, though. That's what I wanted to do. So we can see it looks like Windows 2000. It's really bright, except it has the Neptune logo instead of the Windows, what was that, Windows 2000 logo. I do like the lo like this right here, this, this, this color. I really like that. Hopefully VMware tools will work on Windows Neptune. However, I know it's really spotty with, you know, older builds of Windows, especially the betas. I know that VMware tools doesn't really like beta versions of Windows. All right, and here we see our first strange thing about this beta. They create the first Windows identity. Enter the name of the per first person using the computer. So we're just going to say, I don't know, we're going to call it Microsoft. Not sure. Okay, so this is a pre-release Windows thing. You must restart your computer before the new settings will take effect. No, I don't think we need to do that. Um, first thing, let's try this. Um, not sure if it's going to work or not. We'll find out. Okay, it's doing something. And setup was unable to complete. Okay, cool. So can we change the resolution at all? Up oh, there is the CD-ROM for Windows Neptune. Let's see, if we go to settings, control panel... Let's see if it'll let us change the resolution at all. We can change it up to that, but that doesn't really do anything. Or that didn't even, it didn't even work. Okay, so it looks like we're going to be stuck with 640 by 480 scaled with 16 colors. Okay, so this is Windows Neptune. It looks a lot like Windows 9X, but it is running on the NT kernel. Um, we can see that we have, by default, the My Documents, we have, what else? My Computer, Network Places, Recycle Bin, Internet Explorer, Connect to the Internet, which I'm sure this is that, I don't think this would work, okay. I want to connect through a LAN, LAN, um, let's 
C no. Okay, supposedly we can get on the internet now. I'm not sure how true that is. Can can we can we do anything? Oh look at that. We're on the internet on Windows Neptune. Look at that. What is this? Internet Explorer 5.5 is running google.com. All right, cool. So now we have this really old OS on the net on the internet, which means we can probably, you know, get hacked. Um what else do we have? Oh, and file a bug report with the like Windows ME like color thing. So in here we have contact information, issue info, system info, um, you know, basic bug reporting stuff. I wonder if what happens if we try to send something. I'm sure those servers are down. I hope those servers are down. Next up we have the start menu, which just reads Windows Neptune going up along the left side. We then have Windows Update, which I'm sure... Oh, let's see. Yes, let's see what this does. This page cannot be displayed. We also have programs which you know are default windows programs any games free cell minesweeper and solitaire so no no 3d space cadet pinball but you know documents we have my pictures and my documents settings we have control panel network printers taskbar and start menu even this reads windows 2000 the preview so they didn't update that that f they didn't get that far in updating some things um, which is natural because this was December of 1999. Under search, we have uh, four files or folders on the internet or four people. So if we go for the internet, oh, IE6 search companion is no longer supported. Search on Bing. I didn't even know that Bing existed back in 1999, which is weird because this is IE 5.5, not 6. Uh, then we also have help which this is just Windows 2000 help with the very pixelated people right here. Um, yes, I know this is running very bad. I, I'm not very happy about it. We also have Run, where we can probably go to Winver and let's see Windows 2000. Okay, so they didn't change that yet. And we also have, let's see, Log Off, which should take us to the new login screen. Yep, perfect. So here we can click on Microsoft or Guest. These are two user accounts. And this is where that new Windows XP login screen first showed up. So if you remember correctly, we had that little box for Windows 9X and Windows 2000. This is it now. We have a full screen logon screen, and that was really the beginning. Um, and then you also have the power off option, which when you click power off, it just shuts the VM off. It doesn't ask you for any other things. No restart, just shuts it off. So that was Windows Neptune build 5111. Thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, make sure to subscribe if you're new around here as I do all kinds of different technology videos, including device restorations. And with that being said, this is my last video for 2023. So if you liked it, make sure to subscribe as I'm trying to reach, I don't even have a goal for next year yet. But thank you. I'll see you all in the next one.